A Course in Miracles, Volume 2, Workbook for Students, Lesson 262, Part 2. Let me perceive no differences today. Father, you have one son, and it is he that I would look upon today. He is your one creation. Why should I perceive a thousand forms in what remains as one? Why should I give this one a thousand names, when only one suffices? For your son must bear your name, for you created him. Let me not see him as a stranger to his father, nor as stranger to myself. For he is part of me and I of him. And we are part of you who are our source, eternally united in your love, eternally the Holy Son of God. We, who are one, would recognize this day the truth about ourselves. We would come home and rest in unity. For there is peace, and nowhere else can peace be sought and found. Let me perceive no differences today. What a powerful lesson. Let me perceive no differences today. In this lesson, we are asked to look around us, to look at our brother, and know that we are all one. We are all one. The eternal nature of who we are is one with our source and with one another. Now, remember, A Course in Miracles has terminology that can rub you the wrong way or that you're not accustomed to. It's just a way to get across a message. In whatever language you prefer, if you prefer love instead of God, put love in source our brother you can put another person there doesn't have to be gender because at the end of the day our true selves our true nature is spirit not body identification but true self identification that consciousness when i say spirit i'm talking about consciousness that awareness that pure presence of us and we are one with all i'm looking forward to the day that this really comes home to each one of us and that we can sit with it and know it for what it is. So enjoy your lesson today and until our next lesson tomorrow, take care.